government cheese. <laughs> Don't eat that government. <laughs> Yo, LeBron, man. LeBron, you about to eat that government cheese. Okay, so I was at the gym, you know. You know what I'm saying? Doing some curls and whatnot. Trying to get them bicep triceps. Anyway, so I got to talking with this with the you know one of the brothers in there. And he was talking about, you know, what's gonna happen with LeBron James when he leaves. And he was, you know, everybody wants to know where LBJ is gonna go. And I brought up the Lakers, and he was like, nah, they're not gonna go to the Lakers. Doesn't make sense, you know. But everybody has their everybody has their theory. And, you know, you got a bunch of teams who are trying to attract LeBron James. And one of them is the Lakers. They've been doing it. This has been out there. You know, they've been uh, uh, working on LeBron in one way or another. He's got a house there. Of course, he's got a house a lot of places. Now, I didn't put this out there because uh, uh, when I started last year, I didn't put this out there as a, LeBron is going to L.A. I put it out there in a skeptical tone. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't like, yeah, this is this is what's going to happen. But as, you know, this year has progressed, it's just looking more and more in favor of him going to L.A. Now, the Spurs also got their hand out. Now, okay, so let's try to, let's try to break this apart and try to see where it's going to go. Anyway around, you're still going to see, you're still going to, you know, have to see Steph Curry and KD. Any way it goes, unless KD leaves. They have to re-sign KD's contract, which was $54 million for two years. He's at the end of this contract. LeBron James is coming up at the end of his contract, and I think his contract is actually yearly now. So he can jump and go to another team, wherever, whatever. But let's break this apart. Let's look at what has transpired recently with getting rid of Isaiah Thomas simply because he was a problem. His mouth was a problem. Uh, Crowder, non-performing, and a couple other players simply because they just didn't perform right. Okay? J.R. Smith, you keep tripping, you're going to end up on that list. Uh, nonetheless, they tried to fix their team mid-season. It didn't work. It's not working. It's not working out right now. I still think the Cavs have a chance. But they have a chance, not simply because LeBron James is the greatest player that ever existed, arguably, but I say yes. It's simply because LeBron James is also a, a manager on and off the floor. You know what I'm saying? He's a coach manager is what he is. On and off the floor. He's a lot like uh, Peyton Manning was. Peyton Manning was a general on and off the football field. What he said pretty much went. And uh, so with, with that ability, I think LeBron has the ability to attract who he wants. Now, I think the trade, I think the trade is almost up. I think you can no, no longer trade. I think Chris Bosch was talking about that. Uh, you can't acquire or release anyone or however that goes. I'm not really sure what the exact date is. But nonetheless, what you can do, if you're very smart, you can do what the Lakers have been doing, which is they have been preparing for a big name, either one or three. Like, we're, we're trying to get people in here because we have a young team. Uh, we know right now we're not going to do it all. But if we build up and we get a big three, a big four, D-Wade, Bosch, and, you know what I'm saying, and LeBron type of thing, you know what I'm saying, if we get a big four going on, we can go ahead and start winning some championships and bring the Lakers back to where they were. This is what the Lakers are doing, and this is why it's attractive to LeBron James. Because, like I said before, LeBron is trying to win right now. He is running out of time. You know what I'm saying? He's running out of time real estate. Let's just get that out there. Do I think he will go to the Lakers? I think it's highly possible. I was thinking that he was going to go to New York because of Melo. 
I still believe that. However, the videos I were putting up, you know, a year and a half ago talking about what LeBron is going to do, that, that rotation can happen, but it's going to happen a little different. I said that he was going to go to New York just to play with Melo, and then he was going to end up in L.A. It might just be the opposite. But I also said that his last his his last few games or his last year that he'll play, he might just come back to Cleveland, and Kyrie Irving might come back to Cleveland as well. They're frenemies. If LeBron James wasn't playing so much, and, and Kyrie Irving can still get uh, the 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 ball, the time, and the, you know the playing time that he wants, so he can be that dude, why wouldn't he? If he think he could win. I mean, you have to ask yourself right now, do you think the Celtics will go and win the championship? Answer, no. No, they won't. Kyrie Irving, did you win a championship with LeBron James? Yes, you did. Sooner or later, it just comes down to that. Because, you know, that's where the money is. Not only that, that's where the legacy is. So when you start breaking this apart and saying... Okay, Kawhi Leonard, what's he doing out there? He's still hurt. Nobody knows why. You know what I'm saying? But if he had a LeBron James, can they go ahead and take out Golden State? Answer is absolutely. <laughs> absolutely they can. You know, can they, in the East, can they go ahead and get past, um, well, well, can they get past Kyrie Irving, the Celtics? Yeah. Can't see why not. But right now, the Cavs are struggling. So I think this whole charade is going to play into, it, it's going to be like what the Sixers are doing now. A year and a half ago, nobody wanted to hear from the Sixers. Now the Sixers are beating the Cavs. It's like, like what? Like how'd that happen? I think what's going to happen with the Lakers is the Lakers – the Lakers are doing everything the right way. Now, if you read this article, I'm not going to read it to you, uh, but if you read this, go through this article, I went through some uh, parts of it, but what they're saying is what we already knew, but they're saying it in even more depth. But what will happen if the Lakers did acquire LeBron James? Can he work with uh, Magic Johnson? Absolutely. I think Magic Johnson will take a back seat I don't think Magic Johnson will be any problem to LeBron James whatsoever because he's going to do exactly what Magic wants. He's going to bring Magic money. It's all about the capital. And he'll bring Magic a ring. Even if he doesn't bring Magic a ring, Magic would be like, okay, we didn't get a ring while he was here. But my revenue, oh my goodness. <laughs> okay? So I just wanted to bring that up. The possibility of LeBron going to the Lakers is is more doable simply because the Lakers have been prepping for LeBron to be there. And if they don't get LeBron, they're going to get two big names. And if they get a nice top three, top four, you're going to see them go to the champ. You well, you're going to see them go to the playoffs and start winning. They've won their last five games. Cleveland has lost their last one. Okay? So is, is it possible that if the Lakers keep winning and stay on a winning streak and LeBron goes to the first round of the playoffs and loses or goes to the second round and loses to Kyrie Irving, is it possible that he's done after this year? Absolutely. Is it possible he, he already lives in L.A., that he'll just join L.A.? Absolutely. It won't. It won't hurt him. It won't hurt him at all. It's your boy Toto, too. You guys let me know what you think. Let's talk about it. I'm out.